Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you are well. Welcome back to another episode of the greatest show on earth, Lord Famous Fortunes, your host of Famous Fortunes. <laughs> Let it be known. <laughs> Let it be known, folks. Let it be known. Today, we are going to investigate whether or not Meghan Markle talks to Diana, Diana, at least whether or not she claims to speak to Diana. What does Harry think? Does Harry believe that she's a uh, a channeler or some type of, I don't know, what we could see a whole bunch of things on the cards today. This could be complete nonsense. We may see that on the cards. We may see that she is the second coming of Diana. Who knows, folks? Who knows? Strap yourself in because we may be in for a wild ride. We may not be as well. We may not be. It could just be quite mundane. But it also could be the best ever. So there's that. We're kind of ebbing between the two extremes of possibility, which is life, isn't it? You know, I had a I had an inspiration this morning, and it's very hard to describe it, but as I was waking up, it kind of came to me that we need to and I and I can't really explain the feeling that came over me. I can't really explain it directly, but I have to hint around it or, or talk around it. We have to think less and love more. That's it. The, the goal of life is really just to love. That's it. That's, that's the goal. If we're in the loving, spending loving time, if we're, if we're loving each other and you know, having a good time with the, the people we love, that is life. That is actually mission accomplished. That's it. There really isn't anything else to work towards. That is actually it. And uh, it, it, it sounds simple, doesn't it? It sounds almost, you know, silly and it kind of felt that's the thing I felt though it was like we think that when we're spending time with loved ones even that there's something more to come or there's some other thing that's going to grow and no it's that's it that's it and it's in it's it it is it and it's of it is of itself the purpose of life I was I don't know I, I'm not quite sure it, it's just how to describe what came over me except for what I've told you so it's kind of like it's kind of like the the reason we're here in a way. I don't know. It is interesting. In these, I'm going to get into the channeling thing. I don't know why I'm just talking about this. But there are... If you watch the near-death experience, the NDE channels, right? The NDE channels, you watch them. They've almost... You can almost tell, all right? They had their accident or whatever happened. And then they either one or three or four things happen. They go to the garden. They meet a family member. They go to the life review with the three judges. I mean, there's like all, you know... Or um, they get you know, on the rare occasion they get dragged somewhere subterranean, you know, not good, uh, not good. Um, but in any event, not there's, there's only a few things that happen, right? And I just, I just wonder, I just wonder. Oh, the the, the big thing, right, is that they're never really told. There's like they're told well, they need to come back and they need certain to do certain things, but they're not really told, and they can't really remember what those things are. They need to do almost always. There's like a sort of a forgetfulness that washes over people when they come back. They, they can remember a lot of the experience, but there's certain things as to why we're here. Um, not really, not really disclosed to them. You kind of have to, you can't know. So anyway, in any event, I thought I'd share that with you. Am I, am I letting cosmic secrets out? Probably not. But in any event, loving people close to you is actually life. It is pinnacle. It is pinnacle. There is nothing else. Everything else is an illusion. I'm sounding like David Icke now, but you know what? So be it. So be it. Lord of the Orbs declaring here now. Let's get into today's reading. Does does Harry believe Meghan uh, speaks to Diana? Let's just throw some cards down. Does he believe that? Cards are hot. Look at this. King of Cups. Six of Coins. Okay, that's an interesting card. Seven of Wands. That's the Hierophant. Five of Swords. The Hierophant. Oh, yes. Interesting. We're going to go to a very traditional uh, meaning of the Hierophant in a second. The Hierophant and the Two of Cups. Okay, the Hierophant here is... 
The Hierophant is actually, I mean, it's the Pope card, but literally it is someone who speaks on behalf of a higher reality. That is, that is the, the Hierophant is the spokesperson of, of a higher reality or, or of an arcane reality, if you like. It's very similar in, in, in many ways to the High Priestess, as you may affectionately know it as the BJ Princess. Uh, where is the High Priestess? It's a, it is similar in some regards. Uh, is similar in some regards. It's going to be right down the end, isn't it? Now I've probably gone past it. The devil, no. Here we go, BJ Princess. Very similar because you got the two towers. Um, there's this. The the difference is the veil. She's kind of the, she's the veil, or she's the go between between two worlds, and that's kind of the idea of the, the the high priestess, the oracle, right? The oracle, but the hierophant is more the spokesperson, if you like the spokesperson for how people should live in accordance with. So it's interesting, the difference, actually. So you could say that she, Harry believes that she speaks. Um, she's like the figurehead, if you like. It's it's possible. It's certainly possible. Also, the six of coins here uh, is, is possible to say as well that she's sort of... Um, giving out, you know, things from Diana. So I'm being inspired. Here's what Diana would do about this. It's sort of like giving out tidbits or whatnot, that type of thing. Um, it's, I don't know here, this five of swords is interesting, but there's like a connection here. There's a connection between two people here, connection between two people, knowledge, knowledge of it. Mm, interesting. King of cups, seven of swords. Hmm. I mean, you could you could say this card is about gaining the upper hand, and you could read a lot into that in, in terms of what's happening here. Um, yeah, but I'm not going to do that. Just I'm not going to go there just for now. This Five of Swords is interesting as well. Hmm. Uh, interesting. I'm not going to comment on exactly what this could mean because it's going to be too speculative. But it's this idea that she's like this spokesperson. You know what I'm saying? Like the Pope is in, you know, and some people are going to debate me on this, but in essence, like God's representative on earth, right? Okay. That's kind of the idea. Is it not? Or am I wrong? Could be. I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, I don't agree with that. Or I'm not saying do whether or not you do agree with it or not, but that's kind of the concept, isn't it? The Pope is the sort of the, the, you know, in any event, that's kind of the sort of the archetype here is like Diana's chosen sort of representative, if you like, chosen person, I guess. Uh, it's very possible that that's what it means. Other than that, there's no real interpretation uh, in my humble opinion. So there's that. Do, does she believe, does, does Harry's wife believe she's speaking to Diana or getting messages or whatnot? Let's find out what's on the cards. Cards are hot. Underlying energy, five of cups. Five of swords, five of cups. Interesting energies there. Queen of swords, here she is. That's not Diana, by the way. Death, okay. Eight of coins, uh, seven of cups, five of wands. Another five card. Three fives now, interesting. Okay, so queen of swords and death. Wow. Queen of swords would, queen of swords would be Harry's wife, I would imagine. Uh, the death card is interesting, and the eight of coins is like working on here. In I mean, you could say this is just pure imagination, but uh, it's the death card. Interesting. I don't. Okay, so the death card isn't about endings; it's about transformations, or you could even say it's possible to even say reincarnation. So I don't know. Read into that what you will. Read into that what you will, but there could be some type of you know, rebirth. She's like a rebirth type of idea. You get where I'm going with this? Do you get what I'm saying? A rebirth type of idea and that she's doing, at least, at least you could say that doing, following on the work of Diana, perhaps with the aid of coins, following on her work, 
Um, even dealing with her challenges, potentially dealing with her challenges here. Uh, but this, you know, this card here is, could be a card of somewhat heavy, um, uh, imagination, even dealing with her losses with the five of swords, five of cups. It, it could be a card of, you know, I don't know, delusion, maybe fan wishful thinking. It could be wishful thinking. Could be, it could be, or it could just be that she sort of sees her claims, thinks that she sees her in her mind. It's possible as well. Possible as well. Um, wow. Okay. Let's, okay, let's throw, let's throw another question down. Hypothetical question. How long has she, has she, if she believes this, how long has she believed this for? How long has this been going on for? When did it start? Let's get a clue here. Cards are on. Five of Wands. Again, strange. Queen of Cups, that's probably Diana. Um, ten of Wands. The Page, since she was a child. Five of Cups again. Ten of... Okay, strange. Since she was a child? I mean, that's the best answer I have, folks. Um, this is Diana, the Queen of Cups. This is, um, you know, for a long time, you could say. For a long time. Again, this sort of conflict energy here and difficulties and loss. She's, I don't know what this, there's something peculiar going on here, folks. There's something peculiar, I don't know, feeling her loss, uh, feeling her challenges, her conflicts, picking up on that energy. Um, that's why I'm having trouble in my life. If she had trouble in her life, maybe. Could be that. It could very well be that. Um, it's a burden on her that she, that this is the case even yeah that's about it that's a that's that's, a, that's an interesting one yeah this this question came from the comment section who asked the question i have to go back and find it um, but i'm not 100% sure just off the top of my head someone asked me this question in the comments hmm hmm you know who you are you know who you are so uh okay interesting reading in and of itself um not quite sure what to make of it but uh, what are your thoughts? Let it be known in the comments. I'll see you there.